Alright folks, welcome to a let's play of Hearts of Iron 2, Doomsday Armageddon. Um, this game is a World War II strategy based game in which compromises the years of uh, pretty much the start of 1936 and it traditionally ended in 1948. But with this you can actually I have the end date set to a different date like 1946. 1952, 1958, or 1964. So it all depends. Even 1940 is a can be uh, the ending point, which is uh, eh, kind of interesting. But we're going to keep it at 1964 because nobody has really gone up that far. At least I haven't. Anyway, I'm sure there's people who have. Um, on this side is different scenarios. I, as I explained in the first video, um, I'm going to choose a 1936. Here's the breakdown of pretty much the important countries within this year. Um, you got United Kingdom, France, Italy, Germany, Soviet Union, Poland, uh, Nationalist China, which is the Republic of China, which was the original uh, mainland before they were taken uh, by the communists in 1948. Uh, here's Japan. Canada, yes, Canada, oh, Canada, yes, yes, and the United States, or the USA, um, and this is just your typical breakdown, but if you right, if you hit right click on a flag, any kind of flag on this, you see there's a lot more choices to be made if you want, uh, you can play as Afghanistan, Albania, Belgium, Cuba, before they were communists, this is before they were communists, remember that, uh, Ethiopia. Uh, the problem with Ethiopia at this point is that they are at war with Italy, which is sometimes can be a lose-lose uh, situation there for Ethiopia. But it can be possible to stop the Italian advance. Uh, Greece, um, Luxembourg. Yes, you can even play as the one single province of Luxembourg. Um, what I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to show you something of the United Kingdom real quick. Um, United Kingdom is a perfect example for what I want to do. Um, I'm not going to play as them or anything like that. I'm going to show you what I can do with it. In this loaded screen, it, it, it does that sometimes, so it's not too uh, typical. Um, here's the basic breakdown. I'm going to pause it right here. Um, so we're going to do all this fun stuff. It's going to lag. I know it's going to lag. Um, I already see it lagging for this video, so I do apologize if the video does show as if it's black. Um, here's London right here, as already selected. Here's Great Britain right here. Here's uh, Northern Ireland. Here's Ireland right here. Um, here's France, my ally. Spain, da da da. Yes, Spain looks actually look good. Now that's I'm probably going to lean more towards playing as Republican Spain. Um, and here's parts of the European holdings in Africa. What I'm going to show you is, well I can't do it now, so I'm going to do some fun things here. Yes, I'm going to cheat for a little bit, don't worry. This will mean nothing uh, later on. So, uh, bear with me. Alright, there we go. So I'm going to go going to oh, not do it that way. Going to speed it up to time. Here's a little time frame down here. A little uh, like what happened during these uh, what's going on right now. So different events pop up. All right. So here's liberate nation. I can liberate any of these nations, any of them, and I can liberate like say I don't know Israel for example. Yes, I can liberate the Zionist Israel. I'm not going to make fun of them because, well, I don't want that whole tension. So, uh, but yeah, you can say, oh, market liberal Israel, woohoo, and they're popular in the United Kingdom. Great. Um, you can do a lot of these things. So this is the cool factor. And the reason I chose the United Kingdom is because, well, they have a lot of, uh, Europe, uh, a lot of, uh, colonies. I would chose France, but whatever. And uh, you can liberate any of these nations. So all these nations exist within the time period of 36 to 64. So that's pretty much every nation. And you can even liberate 
countries like Kurdistan, if you have uh, parts of Iraq and things like that. Um, the Baku regions, uh, you can release Armenia, Georgia, but you can't, you gotta invade the Soviet Union to do that. You can liberate, uh, Ukraine. If you have, uh, parts of Poland, uh, you, Romania, uh, Czechoslovakia, I think they all need is press off, but that's not really required. So, there's a lot of, uh, things you can do. But, enough of that. Uh, I'm gonna exit out. Um, but I am gonna, uh, I should probably show you what, uh, I'll probably lean more towards Republican spam, but, but, um, that was just pretty much to show you what I'm gonna do, and the basic, uh, background of the game. So, uh, I'm gonna keep doing this, you know, this annoying stuff. Um, but you can play any country, I'm gonna emphasize that a lot. You can play any country, even Yugoslavia, you can, uh, once you invade it, which uh, once Germany invades it, they have the choice to liberate uh, Bosnia, Serbia. Uh, I don't. Macedonia is not an option, so don't. Yeah, but that can be modded if you wanted to. But that's the basic background of this game. Um, at this point, uh, I I thought I'd just show you the background of the game right now. I'll show you what I'm gonna do in the next video. When I decide, when I find a perfect time to do it, I might do it tonight, I might do it tomorrow, who knows, but I'm going to do it, but I will definitely, probably, most likely, do it. <laughs> so, uh, hope you guys enjoy this little background, oh, uh, oh, before I go, oh, uh, you can do a full IC takeover, which is an industrial capacity, means you can, once you annex a country, you can take over their entire, entire un industry. Um, once you well, typically, what would happen if you annex a country, you take not even all of it, because a lot of it will be under partisan control. Is if you don't have uh, national claims on it, that then the uh, there then it's a partial type takeover, and sometimes it's a waste. And so that's where sometimes where people come in and say they just want to puppet the um, country. So. That's what's, that's the typical thing to do. Uh, you got a tech team takeover, cheap way of expanding your tech team. Even if you have like, if you annex Germany for example, and you you're like, I don't know Poland. I've seen that happen before. So Poland can take all of Germany's tech teams and like just become the master country really, just become a beast. So I've seen some of that. I'm gonna turn to. AI aggressive to normal, so. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of things. Um, so, if you guys have any questions, concerns, uh, anything practically related to the game, ask me or give me advice, whatever. So yeah, that's the pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next video of what country I'm gonna play. Um. It's been a while, it's been a long time, so I've been trying to practice a little bit in this game, so I might completely suck. So who knows what will happen? But I'm sure I will try to make it fun as possible. So uh, I'll see you guys later for the next video, and I uh, hope you guys have a good one.